really, I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Definitely Someone Canada. motion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. I don't understand these Canadianisms. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Yeah, well, what's wrong? Was it really that bad? Pretty much, but it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. Huh. So... We're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told, um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. 
I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. So we were in juvie then, and I think we did kill our mother in that house, which we're now trying to sell. Which is a bit awkward, but hey. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift from Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture and what it means to refuse one. I, I just feel like I didn't care, sorry. I feel like that's what I character would exactly. do. Exactly. Seriously? That was childish. What is wrong with you? No need to be so Fuck dramatic. Em. I'm the one who's being dramatic. Oh god. Probably not the right choice. But I mean, it seems like he kept us apart for seven years, and we are less than happy about it. Did you hear that? So, that was an asshole move. To put it mildly. Don't walk her back. We committed. I deserve that. I'm sorry I tossed the ring. No. I'm sorry too. I just hoped we could wrap everything up with a grand gesture and move on to our perfectly normal lives. Uh, fine. Maybe like, this maybe isn't all forgiven. <laughs> Still your brother? Still your sister. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. So maybe, maybe tossing the ring was a bit much, but, um, seems like we're willing to forgive Allison's adopted father who locked us in jail in seven, for seven years and kept us away from each other. How are you? And we're just gonna eat the jobs on now. He, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he wasn't ready to take it. It's another He's statement. Uncle. Yeah, the drive took longer than I thought it would. We're on the ferry right now. Uh huh. I know. I know. Yeah. It's a very bold form of eavesdropping. Yeah. I've been driving in this stuff for five years. I'll be fine. It's so weird being back on this boat. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so you seem concerned about her driving. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Cannery still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. Hey, 
Didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? <laughs> We're gonna hide behind it, ultimately, really? Sorry about that. Kids are dicks. Yes, well, I only accept apologies in the form of chocolate. Deal. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah, it was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Someone died, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. It doesn't hurt to try. Good point. So Denali isn't a, a college, it's some sort of uh, you know, so national park ranger program. House. We should totally make a campfire. Ooh, yes! Mm, I can already smell the gooey marshmallows and warm chocolate. Clear sky full of stars overhead, the wail of a loon resonating on the empty lake. <laughs> Alright, Wordsworth. Hey, that's a compliment. Okay, what else can we do on this boat? This place is real pretty, though. Talk to the angry old man next. Denali Expeditions discovering the crown jewel of Alaska. Oh, we're actually in America. Canadian America. Introduction to Making Devil's Club Tea. Our way of life, community, and cultural programming. Sponsored by Huna... Heritage Foundation, learn how to harvest and process Devil's Club to make tea. Sign up today. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Environmentalism. Under the sea. Uh, was this the dance that Michael was preparing for? I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Okay. Interesting. Canoe for sale. Strong and sturdy. You drop in bed and breakfast. Okay. Probably not the most important stuff, but uh. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route? Oh. Allison. Don't think she can hear you. Guess not. Good call, by the way. Scenic route's longer, but the view's worth the time. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Yeah, grew up here. Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clay kid, hide up. I haven't been Clay home kids. in five years. Yeah. Let's talk about you. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. Mm. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? Let's go. Whoa. Personal space, Doug? Yeah, I'm starting to regret tossing that ring now, because I think we're going to meet, um, I don't know what his relation to us is, but our sister's adoptive dad. I don't think we got adopted.
Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Okay. Seems like there's a bit of tension. Seems like we see our childhood pretty happily. We're pretty pretty stoked to be back, but you know, I guess this is where she lost her mother. Yeah, it's it's interesting how we'll explore that. Um I mean, we seem to be speaking, which is good, so it's not like she hates us, but, I mean, hey, you it's a bit that? awkward. Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. Okay. Just this once, I won't click on every interactable object. Except that window. Did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. How dare you. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. Genius. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Oh, looks like we are exploring the outside. 